All right, hi, I'm Kevin Lam from uh, Department of Biological Sciences from SFU here. Um, so I'm recording this on Saturday, December 11th at 6.30 p.m. Um, if you have been using Zoom recordings for your lectures uh, to cloud, if you've been recording your Zoom lectures to cloud through Canvas for your students to access, um, unfortunately, I, uh, the something happened and students aren't able to access the passwords needed to view each individual video. Um, I don't know why this happened, but if you log into your Canvas homepage and you click on Zoom and this is what you see instead of the usual tabs for meetings and uh, cloud recordings, then I'm guessing that the problem is still there. And so I'm going to show you a quick fix to get your students access to their lecture recordings so they can study. My students have their exam tomorrow at 7 p.m., so I had to find a fix really, really quick, and I wanted to share with the rest of you. Okay, so if you click on Zoom and this is what you see, then I'm guessing Zoom is still messed up. So click on that link at the bottom here, and that'll open up this um, other page um, for you to log in. If you click sign in, you can access your recordings this way. This only works for recordings that you were the primary host for. So if you set up this meeting, you have access to all of these Zoom recordings and you're the one that needs to share them. Um, so what I recommend is that you uh, click on recordings um, to see the list of all the recordings you made. Um, so what I noticed was that the recordings that my TA made for my course within Canvas onto cloud uh, are not here. Right. So it needs to be the person who made the recording. All right. So um, the quick fix is going to be that you're going to share the link and the password for each of these meetings to your students via email or via Canvas announcements. Um, and I've tried this out with my students and I've had seven of them confirm that it is working. All right. So what you want to do is, um, like I said, go to Canvas, click on Zoom, click on this link here to open up your Zoom page. Once you're here, I'm going to show you the fastest way to copy, let's say, this entire list of lectures and office hours um, that the video links to your students. Right. So I already have an announcement set up with um, telling the students I'm sending them the links to the lecture recordings. So what I recommend doing is um, first just right click each of these links just to open up each meeting into a separate tab here. So right click, open link in new tab, right click, open link in new tab. And just do this for maybe a whole page of lectures because you're gonna have to do this for all your lectures if you want students to not complain that oh they didn't have a chance to watch that lecture they missed when they were sick and so forth right so just right click and open new tab for a whole bunch of these and then from there what you do is click on the very first new tab that you opened to open the most recent um, lecture tab and then from here you click on share and then copy sharing information and that's going to automatically copy this to your clipboard so if you then go to your announcement and right click and hit paste. That's going to give them the name of the lecture as well as the date of the lecture. They sh what the students will need to do is copy this link and put it into their browser. And then when it asks for a password, this is the password for this individual meeting. Okay. So from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to directly click on this close tab button to get rid of the one I'm already done. And then it'll automatically open the very next tab. So I'm going to click share, copy sharing information. And then over here, I've already hit enter twice to get to the next um, to to tab uh, to um, go, go a few lines down. So there's a space here and then just again, right click and then paste if you want to go even. So and then after that, I hit enter twice, so I just want to make some spaces between one meeting and the next. So it's easier to view. So once again, I'm going to close this tab directly, click share, click copy information. And as a shortcut uh, on my MacBook, I'm going to go command V and that'll get everything there and enter enter. To scroll down a bit and then close this tab, share, copy information, and then call, click Command V. And I'm just going to do this for every single tab I have and then go and grab another page full. So you can go to the next page and get another page full of these uh, lectures for your students. So as I said, I sent these to the students and as long as they are using this link to access the meeting that they want, and using this password for this video, that seems to be working. So um, hopefully this problem is fixed and you don't need this, but if you do, I'm hoping this will help you. If it uh, is not working um, and uh, you want me to help troubleshoot, feel free to give me an email and I'll send you my number and we can talk on the phone and work it out. Um, so my email address is klamf at sfu.ca. So that's K, my last name, L-A-M, M as in mother, and then F as in Frank, K-L-A-M-F at sfu.ca. I'll check email every now and then, and hopefully um, we'll get through this together. 
All right. Um, good luck out there. Hopefully this will be a blow over soon. You'll have a smooth final and that we'll have a nice holiday before the next semester. All right. Take care, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye.